yes so since it is a one hour class uh, i'm planning to do only one topic so even i thought of giving only alkane benzene as a different topic so it came as a single topic so we'll cover try to cover at least one topic today so i'll just cover try to cover benzene benzene let me select black benzene right so i will just i will give you some preparation methods so all these notes are given in the proper proper notes are given in the class so just go through it so while you if you have any doubts on the reaction you can just ask me so which are very important i'll give you the with the simple mechanism so chemical reactions we have to go with the mechanism only then we'll do some important previous year questions this is what i planned for the one hour okay so preparation i will go through then some chemical reactions chemical reactions then previous year questions on benzene this is the plan for today okay yes let's start yeah so let's start with the first preparation with the benzene so as of you know this is the benzene you can draw resonance right resonance you can apply over here resonance if you are applying so this is the delocalization of electron delocalize oh let me take the color so delocalization of electron we can represent over here that's why we are getting two resonating structures right so this will be resonating structures so here double bond here double bond here double bond this is the resonating structure one and here this is the resonating structure two and resonating hybrid it is just representing the pi electrons as a dot that's why you are drawing the benzene like this this zero or oxygen it's not oxygen present inside a ring it's just a representing the delocalization of pi electrons so how many pi electrons are there in the benzene so one two three four five and six so this is like an aromatic compound so hakka's rule i think oh, people are joining in a second yes so aromatic rule for hakka's rule you have learned hakka's rule hakka's rule so over here 4n plus 2 i think you have heard about this correct or not have you heard about this rule 4n plus 2 pi rule yes sir okay 4n plus 2 pi electron rule so if it is satisfying with how many six how many pi electron we got in benzene six pi electron we got so it is if it is following that hakka's aromatic pi electron rule it will show aromatic behavior so it is one of the we have learned about electron displacement reaction this is also another kind of effect which give proper stability for a compound like resonance and hyper conjugation and all so over here if i am giving n value is equal to 1 so 4 into 1 plus 2 will come in the 6 pi electron system so benzene is a proper aromatic compound and is a stable aromatic compound as well stable compound and we have enough reactions of benzene as well so we are going to learn about chemical reaction so before going for that let me just introduce some physical uh, sorry not physical properties preparation methods preparations so one preparation or two preparation we can say so two preparation already you have learned let me get in yeah two preparations you have already learned one is actually in the alkene part one is actually in the alkyne part so one is the alkene part i will tell you what is the reaction and one is alkyne part alkyne part alkene part is about soda lime decarboxylation have you heard this term soda lime decarboxylation soda lime decarboxylation have you heard this term for the preparation yes, of uh, preparation of alkene actually soda lime decarboxylation i'll explain that one more time alkene also this is like one cyclic polymerization is there cyclic polymerization polymerization these two are the important two method of preparation for benzene one more is there i will tell you after because that we are going to learn the class 12 that's why i'm skipping over here as well i'll just give you the reaction for sure let me finish these two first one first one using soda lime decarboxylation soda lime decarboxylation so let me explain this word what is this soda lime decarboxylation 
So soda lime decarboxylation means so soda lime is actually a mixture of NaOH plus CaO mixture, 3 is to 1 mixture. No need to remember the mixture ratio and all. Soda lime is a mixture of calcium oxide and sodium hydroxide. This is a quick claim actually. CaO means decarboxylation means decarboxylation means its word depend, represents it is a removal of CO2 actually removal of CO2 so this you have learned in the alkene part so I will write a reaction for alkene then if possible you can just suggest me a method to prepare benzene as well so this we have started with some acid R C O O H then on reacting with our base NaOH so over here it will produce R C O O N A. Maybe have started your teacher. Maybe started with this sodium carboxylate ion. This is actually carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid, and this is actually a salt. Actually, sodium carboxylate, carboxylate. It's a salt, sodium carboxylate. So after this R C O N A. So over here we are going to remove carbon dioxide. This word. I'm not going to explain the complete mechanism, but I'll give an idea over here. This whatever CO2 you are seeing, it will be removed over here. CO2 to produce R. And here you see R soda lime decarbonization, same like whatever you are in there. I'm explaining for only alkene. So over here, what I'm going to do, see this H2 is the right hydrogen and OH. So this actually formed the H2O part. So over here, we are having RCONA. So from H2O, we are going to get hydrogen H plus and R minus. So this is what our alkane produce. So if I'm starting with the CS3COONA, what I can do over here is that, see from here, RCONA. So over here, CS3 and a same like R, this is the R part over here and hydrogen over here. So CS3, the final product will be CS3H or else you can write CHA4. So we have started with RCOH and finally we are, we are getting R. This part we are learned in the alkane part. Now see the same thing we can apply over here for benzene as well. Listen, if I am starting with the benzoic acid, this is what benzoic acid, COOH, benzoic acid, benzoic acid. So this is like see, a rail part instead of alphatic plate, this will be a rail part, R A R C O H. So on reacting with the NaOH, so it will produce same like ARCOO minus and Na plus. So here I'll draw it the structure like this way, benzene with the COO minus Na plus, right? Now the removal of CO2 will happen. This will completely go or you can say ARH. So finally it will go for ARH actually. So this is what benzene with the removal of CO2 over here it is CO2 removal finally we are going to get a benzene so here hydrogen this hydrogen means no need to write the benz hydrogen exactly over here because it's already benzene so no need to write as well so it's even hydrogen if it's representing it's actually the benzene bit. so this is actually one method of preparation for benzene so already I learned in the alkane part which is soda lime decarboxylation did you understand this so starting from benzoic acid, yes. we are getting benzene. This is one method of preparation. Generally, question we are going to do is mainly on chemical property. That's why we are going to stress over over there only. Second one is actually uh, benzene is second one alkyne. This also I think you have learned alkane chemical property, cyclic polymerization. I think you have heard this word, cyclic polymerization, polymerization. So over here, what is going to happen? So our ethyne molecule, CH triple bond C, this is ethyne. So three moles of ethyne molecule, when we heat at a red hot ion to maybe in the NCRT, they have mentioned RHT. So RHT means its reaction is happening at a very high temperature. This is red hot RHT, red hot iron tube, iron tube means reaction is happening at a very high temperature, very high temperature, right? Now what is going to happen? This is actually going to produce benzene, but I will show how it's actually happening. This is our benzene. So I'll tell you how it's actually formed. Listen, just I will show you the mechanism, how it's actually happened. So three moles of, three molecules of ethane, mole, ethane is there with, with us. So C, triple bond, C, let's draw H here, H here. 
so c h triple bond c h and here c triple bond c h right so due to reaction happening at a high temperature the bond will have some kind of polarity or we are actually producing the energy or providing the energy for the molecule so there's a high chance of breaking of bonds when we give the energy the bond breaking can happen bond breaking can happen so what is actually going to happen over here one ethane molecule will break one bond over here so high reaction high temperature reaction so one bond will be broken over here let me throw the other bond properly and automatically here both are carbon so polarity we can draw it randomly so one will be delta plus and one will be delta minus this is for the carbon bond has been broken in such a way that some polarity has been created at a high temperature now we don't need the temperature as well why because already ethane polarity has been created due to the polarity negative charge created over here negative charge created over here this carbon will try to get a polarity delta plus and automatically this bond will break this bond will break one of the bond will break and here this carbon will get a delta negative charge due to the delta negative charge got on this carbon this carbon will get a delta positive charge so this carbon delta positive charge automatically this one of the bond one of the pi bonds are very weak bonds compared to sigma bond it can break very easily and automatically this carbon will get a delta negative charge and see over here listen so this delta minus and delta plus can attract this delta plus and delta minus can do the weak force of attraction that's what we are going to form the bond and here also delta minus and delta plus correct to note let me draw it as c1 c2 c3 some c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 and c6 so let me draw c c c here c here c here and c here c so this was c1 this was c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 hmm. so over here double bond is again still present between c1 and c2 triple bond is gone so c1 and c2 there is a double bond over here and between c3 and c4 also double bond is there c3 and c4 and between c5 and c6 c6 over here also double bond is there so this is what our benzene looks like this is our benzene right so no need to go for mechanism as a poi exam point of view but try to remember this mechan reaction which is very important because this can be we have already studied in chemical properties of alkane to produce benzene and now we are studying for method of preparation of benzene do you understand this reaction compared to soda lime for the preparation of benzene is a little more important for the exam point of view understood can we move to the chemical reactions still people are there right okay Two yes sir ones. okay yes sir yeah. now see listen hydrocarbon chapter still i for actually i thought of mentioning at the last but i will tell you right now i don't know whether you will stay at till the last moment so i will just announce over here hydrocarbon actually for the complete chapter for j and when i checked for the previous year question you can check from for the five years the number of question coming for this hydrocarbon and even the other chapter some basic concept of chemistry including isomerism goc and all so the number of question coming is kept on increasing only you can take goc or hydrocarbon two to three question you can expect for sure so it was when i checked for 2019 it was only one question from goc and i think hydrocarbon also two question i think but when i checked for the previous year 2023 it was two or three question came so it is kept on increasing only so you can expect minimum two or three question for sure that's why the chapter is very important so listen so let's go to the sir, yes, yes. which part is more important in hydrocarbon will, which preparation is more important i will tell you i will tell you so this actually when we finish the hydrocarbon we used to announce in the class which part is very important for hydrocarbon chapter it is well understood that our aromatic hydrocarbon and alkene part is very important alkene alkene when we are talking about alkene alkene here woods reaction is very important and uh, this is for the preparation and for chemical properties halogenation is very important 
So if the question is coming from alkene part, these are the two core areas. One is from the method of preparation, one is from the halogenation. I'm not saying it won't come from the other part. This is the core area. Hmm? So alkene, you have to study all the reaction. Now we cannot say from the hydrocarbon because all the reaction you are studying in the alkene part is going to come in the complete 12th organic part. So you are going to learn again alkene, the Marconico soul, carbocation form will be shifted over there due to the hydrate shift and methyl shift. All this you are going to learn the complete 12th organic. So alkene part, whatever reaction you have learned will be coming again in the class 12th organic. Then you will understand a little more important. And alkene part, they are asking as well. One important part is the addition of water. Addition of water reaction. We have enough reactions alkene as well. Addition of water is very important. And here, cyclic polymerization is also very important. Cyclic polymerization, just now I have discussed. That will come with the benzene as well. Cyclic polymerization reaction. And for alkene, I could have mentioned the ozone is part which is going to come for alkene as well. That is also exam point of view, very important. Benzene part, again, same what I have mentioned, benzene, aromatic compound, we are going to discuss today, reactions. It is as same as alkene. You are going to learn most of the things just now in hydrocarbon class. Learning, you are already only learned the basic things only. So what for the complete organic, what I'm saying, isomers and everything. It's a complete basics of organic chemistry. Geos is also, as I told you when we started, maybe Sarah has mentioned, or Madam has mentioned about this, the basics of organic chemistry. We are going to study the application part, complete organic concept. We are going to learn in the class 12th only. But still, a few things are very important. Hydrocarbon, as I told you, a few things about alkene, alkene and benzene and alkene. These are the core area where questions can be predicted, like expected, like more than 80 or 90 percentage. It's not like all other reactions are less important, but still comparing to other reactions. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's move to the chemical reactions. Chemical reactions. Chemical reaction. So over here, we are going to talk about mainly two reactions. One is electrophilic substitution reaction. Electrophilic. I'll tell you why it's not nucleophilic. That I shall discuss in this part. Electrophilic substitution reactions. And we'll talk about addition reaction as well. Because it's an unsaturated compound, double bond. So we can add it for sure. Addition reactions. So while talking about electrophilic substitution reaction, you have learned about electrophile and nucleophile for sure. Electrophile is electron loving species. Nucleophile is a NU minus. It's actually positive charge loving species. Nucleus, nu, nucleophile will have negative charge or it can be electron seeking substances. So electron may be less. The nucleophile be having attracted to positive charge species. Electron deficient centers. Correct. So it should not have, it's not compulsory to have negative charge as well. So electrophile also you have learned about these two things when we started GOC. Right. Now see, when we talk about benzene, so we are going to substitute hydrogen. I'll give you the just basic brief mechanism for electrophilic substitution reactions as well. Now see, when we talk about benzene, as I told you, it's a kind of 6 pi electron system with a stable structure, aromatic structure. So 6 pi electron due to the high electron density. High electron cloud density. Cloud density. So if you look at the 3D structure, maybe I don't know whether I can draw it the 2D board, but still let me try. So this will be sigma bond here also. Pi orbital will be let me take some other color. So pi bond will be staying like this way. So here double bond will be. It's a 3D, okay. It's actually staying like this way. Benzene is a plane and the orbital is staying like this way. So here also, so it's a 3D structure actually. Here also. So lateral overlapping happen for the pi orbital, sorry, p orbital. So here this will happen. Here also lateral overlapping. This will learned in the chemical bonding to make the pi bond. Right? Lateral overlapping. So while looking from the outside, it is very clear that the benzene is a high electron density. Uh, it's more for the benzene ring. So when we have electrophile and nucleophile, nucleophile reaction, I'll tell you, is an electrophile means electrons loving species. 
so automatically when electrophiles are coming it will be attracted towards benzene that is for sure so that's what we are going to learn this in in this chapter nucleophile actually see nucleophile is already negative charge it's actually seeking for some positive charge or positive or less electron deficient centers right less electron deficient center means electron deficient electron deficient this is actually electron rich center we can call electron rich center this is actually seeking for electron deficient center nucleophile right so when we try to react benzene and nucleophile this actually not it's not going to be attracted towards the benzene which is actually having more electron density but you are going to learn some nucleophilic addition reactions as well when you go for the class 12 at high temperature some extreme cases of extreme cases of pressure and temperature like high temperature and all you are going to learn something about nucleophilic reactions of benzene as well but the, for the time being you are going to learn only normal temperature reaction aside electrophilic substitution reactions so this is the reason why nucleophiles are not going to be attracted to benzene thing but maybe some extreme condition if you are providing some reactions can also happen you are going to learn in the class 12 actually so that's why i'm not going to discuss about nucleophilic substitution reaction so let's talk about electrophilic substitution reaction over here see let me draw the benzene so here let me draw one uh, we'll draw later one hydrogen so electrophile is actually going to come so it is actually going to happen so you can break one of the bond to any side all are carbon so electron negativity of each and every carbon sp2 carbon are there all are sp2 carbon correct or not so all the carbons are sp2 carbon this is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 all the carbons are sp2 carbons so over here you can break the bonds electrophiles are coming so electrophile will be attracted towards more electron density position so this bond will break in such a way that it will create negative charge over here and this carbon is losing the electron so this carbon will get a positive so we are breaking the bond to right side so the left side carbon is losing electron and this carbon is getting an excess electron correct did you understand that how the carbon is excess yes, sir. Right? Yeah. So yes, sir. over here here it will be negative good good so here it is positive charge now electrophile will attack at the negative charge position over here so here electrophile will come right now positive charge is so charge species resonance you have learned about the stability of resonating structure and all positive charge will be stabilized using the resonance over here so listen if i'm drawing the resonance structures over here for this structure so we can draw resonance like this way right see electrophile here double bond so here double bond will be formed i hope you can understand the resonance and here also one more resonance so double bond will be formed over here here double bond here electrophile and here positive charge right now see if i'm drawing the resonating hybrid this is like a electrophile here and positive charge is getting delocalized from this carbon to this carbon so here to we'll draw like this way and here it is positive charge delocalization it's not actually forming the complete delocalization so complete cyclic conjugate it's not aromatic right now now see before addition before addition of electrophile substitution of electrophile this compound was aromatic and highly stable now after addition of electrophile till the resonance is there conjugation is there now it's not satisfying the cyclic conjugation so aromatic stability one important criteria for aromatic compound is that it should be cyclic conjugated means complete conjugation has to be there like in benzene you can see the complete conjugation i have drawn when we started the benzene so now it lost the complete cyclic conjugation so it's now it's happening till here only see these carbon is missing or apart from it's staying apart from the resonance so what will happen stability is there positive charge but after this what will happen to regain the aromaticity to regain to regain the aromaticity or stability i can say aromaticity whatever hydrogen here we have one more hydrogen right so this is actually carbon with a four valency one two three and four that hydrogen electron will be donated over here and h plus will come out and here you see now that the carbon got the double bond this one and this one now here electrophile now h plus e plus has came in and h plus has came out minus h plus means coming out h plus has came out now the charge is also stabilized 
one plus charge came to the molecule one plus charge came out of the molecule did you understand the mechanism is it clear yes sir okay good now we have to talk about the different electrophilic substitution reactions so before going for that let me discuss one addition reaction because electrophilic substitution reaction will take time so let me just discuss two addition reactions then we can go for the explanation of complete electrophilic substitution reactions so listen two important reaction as a exam point of view is that two reactions one is this addition reaction okay addition reaction one one is actually addition one is actually substitution so i'll tell you which is addition which is substitution so we are doing some chlorination so we are doing some chlorination one reagent is like cl2 slash h nu h nu means sunlight actually or they can instead of uh, h nu they can write simply sunlight sunlight second one is cl2 fecl3 this reaction i will tell you is because it is a substitution reaction still now we are not discuss about substitution reaction i will discuss those reaction not fecl2 fecl3 this one you have learned about already in the alkene part same thing will happen over here the here complete bond will break complete bond will break and here addition reaction will happen complete chlorine will come from all the carbon here also carbon here also carbon this is actually called as bhc benzene hexa benzene it's not a benzene ring it's a cyclohexane ring just benzene is a common name. bhc is actually a common name common name actually benzene is writing there because it came from the benzene that's it it's bhc is a common name so you can write like that way benzene hexa chloride if you want to write the iupac name it will be what is iupac name for this species 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexa chloro cyclohexane that is a iupac name for that but comparing to the iupac name for this compound bhc the common name is which is little more important benzene hexa chloride another name for this one is called as gamexane this also well known name gamexane this reaction is very important why because here also cl2 fecl3 is there i will write the product right now but i will explain later this is actually substitution reaction here we are going to form cl plus chloronium i will explain this one on the halogenation part so here it won't break the bond it benzene double bond will stay as such and at one carbon like electrophile one chlorine will be substituted these two reactions are very important this is actually a kind of addition reaction first one and this one is electrophilic substitution reaction our electrophile is cl plus over here this i have discussed over here because these are very important reaction looks like almost similar chlorination we are doing but due to the reaction conditions so this actually i have learned like alcl3 fecl3 fbr3 you can use instead of fecl3 you can use fbr3 what is common about all this i am writing over here fecl3 fbr3 alcl3 these are all what is common about these three compound or molecule they are lewis acids so i will tell you the role of this lewis acids over here when we talk about substitution reaction these are two important reactions so when we go for the electrophilic substitution reactions electrophilic substitution reactions mainly we have to talk about first one is halogenation halogenation so let me write so over here on benzene so now we don't need to write the mechanism completely so here reagent you have to listen so x is our halogen and here we need some lewis acid something like a fe cl any whatever lewis acid i give i'll write lewis acid only because i have i given already one list of lewis acid like fe cl3 fe br3 or al cl3 these are the lewis acids lewis acids so over here what is going to happen over here listen i'll give you a brief mechanism as well same like the same mechanism will happen so our electrophile here will be x plus x plus let me write x plus x plus means halogen plus so this x plus is called as halonium ion so if it is cl plus it is chloronium ion if it is uh, bromine plus it is bromonium ion halonium ion what is x minus means cl minus br minus these are halide ion we don't we are not going to create this ion over here we are creating electrophiles hmm? so here one of the position will be substituted with a x plus or x over here electrophile is 
so what is actually happened over here x x molecule is there and here we have al cl through some molecule like so lewis acids are there so lewis acid is a molecule which has some vacant orbital which can accept electron pairs correct or not now listen what will happen so this bond will break in such a way that here we have two electron two electron so this electron is of let me write it like x1 and x2 this electron is of electron x2 and this electron is of x1 so what will happen two of the electron will go with the one of the halogen to make x minus and x plus this is why happening means in the presence of alcl3 the excess electron this one electron is of x only the other electron is, is of other x so that excess electron can be accepted by aluminum with a vacant orbital now this can be accepted over here so it will form al cl3 with x and some negative charge that negative charge will be accepted by aluminum and here we have created x plus right now that x plus will be acting as an electrophile and will be shooting over in the benzene ring this is actually what is happening over here and that is the mechanism for this reaction as well so if a reaction happening like this way benzene so cl2 cl2 fe br3 something like this way so here the formation will be cl3 so this is what i have written in the previous slide as well chlorination reaction we can go for bromination reaction as well did you understand Fluorine, yes, sir. Fluorination actually, see, fluorination we won't write. Why? Because fluorine problem with the fluorine is a kind of uh, uh, kind of exceptional mo molecule having high bond energy. So here this bond is actually going to break this bond. So over here the problem is fluorine bond, FF bond, it's not easy to break in there. We can break, but we have to spend a lot of energy. And the fluorine reaction will be violent as well. So we have to spend that much we even we cannot imagine how much amount of energy we have to spend that bond is that strong so we cannot easily break so whatever energy spent will be very high so the reaction will be vigorous and violent so even we cannot study the kinetics so how rate how much rate is actually happening and even we cannot study what is actually happening in the fluorination reaction it's not like fluorination is not possible we cannot say that fluorination is possible but the study of fluorination reaction is not easy to understand due to the strong bonding energy between two fluorine atoms and we have to spend a lot of energy and the energy due to the energy consumption it's not easy to study about fluorination reaction it's not like fluorination is not possible fluorination can happen hmm? so this is what about halogenation next is about let me finish it well so that we can at least do some uh, 10 minutes question practice because we have to talk about meta directing and ortho para directing this kind of thing so let me write all the reactions next one is nitration reaction nitration reaction nitration actually here electrophile you have to learn electrophile is actually our nitronium ion nitronium ion nitronium ion no2 plus so here if i am writing a general reaction benzene so here no2 plus is actually generated by a reaction mixture called as nitrating mixture let me write it as concentrated HNO3 plus concentrated H2SO4. So this mixture is actually called as nitrating mixture, nitrating mixture, right? Nitrating mixture. So here we are going to get NO2 plus and we are going to form one NO2 at any of the point because there is no other substituent. We can draw NO2 at any of the carbon atom. Now, how we can produce this NO2 plus? Listen, what is actually going to happen over here? So here, H2SO4, due to high strength, H2SO4 will act as an acid, which produce H2SO4 can produce H plus ions, H plus ions. So HNO3, if you are drawing the structure, double bond O, coordinate bond O, here o oxygen and hydrogen. This is our HNO3. So what will happen? This will, this can act as a base due to the uh, nature of acidic concentrated H2SO4. So what will happen? H2SO4 will provide H plus ion. And here this oxygen will accept this H plus. So what will happen over here? H, oxygen, nitrogen, double bond O, coordinate bond O, 
and here this oxygen has given one electron pair to the hydrogen one lone pair is still there since oxygen has given the lone pair oxygen will get a positive charge clear so what will happen right now positive charge and highly electronegative oxygen atom is not even stable so it will say oxygen will try to take electron from this nitrogen so it will ask the nitrogen to give electron from here so these two nitrogens electrons are there so one is of nitrogen so it will ask electron from nitrogen to take this electron over here so completely this is actually removal of water molecule listen see oh2 means removal of water molecule left with the right side you can see n double bond of coordinate bond of is there nitrogen has lost one its electron so nitrogen will get a positive charge this is what our nitronium is that clear how no2 plus has been generated clear right yes sir okay thank you this is one nitration sulfonation next is sulfonation 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 is actually we can use different reagent actually we can use concentrated h2so4 concentrated h2so4 or even even simply h plus also will work over here now or else they can give you some reagent called as uh, oleum 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 is actually h2so4 plus so3 this is actually going to produce h2 s2 o7 this compound is called as oleum or even this also can given in the arrow h2so4 plus so3 so it's, it's a kind of it's producing h2s2 o7 which is the reagent over here which is called as oleum o l e u m and or they can represent like a fuming h2so4 these are all can be represented on the arrow to produce sulfonation on the benzene ring fuming h2so4 so so we are going to produce benzene with the SO3H. Listen, over here, our electrophile is a species without positive charge. So, how this SO3 is becoming electrophile? That I will explain. I think I have learned in the chemical bonding already. So, SO3 is a kind of structure like this way, right? Trigonal planar structure. It does not have any positive charge, but it can act as an electron. How? Because, see, when we, as I told you, as in the mechanism, so it will create a positive charge over here, negative charge over here, and this negative one bond is broken actually over here. So sorry, sorry. That's not the position I have to draw. Here positive charge, here negative charge. Correct. Now this negative charge C, sulfur and electronegativity in which of electronegativity of sulfur is way less than electronegativity of oxygen atom. Due to the presence of three oxygen atoms present over here. Sulfur will feel like my electrons are getting uh, withdrawn from mine and moving towards the oxygen atom. So this sulfur atom present at the center will have an electron deficiency due to the attached highly electronegative oxygen atom. So this negative charge can, can attack over here on sulfur and one electron will be pushed over to the one of the oxygen atom. Huh? So listen what will happen over here. Let me redraw it over here. So double bond here, double bond here, and here positive charge is still there. So this is attached to one sulfur, double bond O, and here also one double bond O, and here it is O minus. Right? Correct or not? Now what will happen? Next is that this hydrogen will give its electron over here. The same mechanism as I told you. And this will come out as H plus, right? It will come out as H plus because it's giving electron. And this H plus will be taken by the O minus. So it will be producing over here double bond regained aromaticity. And here S double bond O, double bond O. And here O minus with the hydrogen is OX. This is what SO3H. Did you understand? Hmm? Yes, sir. So the electrophile is SO3, not SO3H. We are introducing SO3H on the benzene ring. But our electrophile is SO3. Sulfur trioxide is our electrophile. They can directly ask this one as well. What is the electrophile for sulfonation of benzene? SO3 is, is the SO3 is the electrophile, not SO3H. Yes. Last one is FC Friedel Crafts reactions. One is alkylation. Let me write. So one is alkylation reaction. FC alkylation. And one is acylation. Acylation. You should know what is acyl group. I will tell you. 
so alkylationes are x in presence of lewis acid and here it is r tocl in presence of rcox i can write any halogen rcox in presence of lewis acid so i will draw the structure one so over here one r will be substituted and here this c double bond of r will be substituted i will give you the brief mechanism as well before going for that so listen what actually formed over here are you writing all this or not can i change the slide yeah listen on alkylation yes. uh, how many still remaining are uh, three are there okay so let me finish this so here alkylation reaction what will happen over here so we have rx actually so rx and we have some als here the same thing will happen lewis acid can take the electron so as you know if this is carbon right cs3 some cl some molecule so carbon electronegativity and halogen electronegativity for sure x is having more electronegative so electron these two electron will be taken by halogen to produce r with a positive charge and x with a negative charge right now if i have taken cs3 cl so let me take instead of rx let me take directly cs3 cl rx and al cl3 is there so this Two electron will be taken by chlorine. That will be accepted by vacant orbit of aluminium atom. Hmm? So here it will be producing CS3 plus, which is our electrophile over here. That alkyl ion is our electrophile. Now listen, it will be taking that electrophile at one of the position at CS3, and here we got Al. Listen, let me draw the mechanism. Then I will under, make you understand. Listen. So here CS3 will be formed, and here we got a positive charge, right? Now this hydrogen will give you and here see this chlorine atom will be taken by alcl3 alcl4 it will become and with a negative charge right now what is going to happen this hydrogen will give electron so that it will become a molecule like this way and one hydrogen is the right that hydrogen will take the negative charge so that one chlorine will come out from here and that chlorine will be taken by not chlorine negative charge of chlorine will be attracted by this h plus removed from here it will form hcl these two are the by products did you understand or not and this is our toluene right yes sir. this is alkylation right methylation alkylation it's methyl groups of methylation now listen okay, if it was if it was like this way benzene with the something like cs3 ch cs3 and here ch2 cl so you'll feel that this will be negative charge with the lewis acid okay and here positive charge will be there so that it will produce something like this way so ch2 then ch ch3 cs3 right this word right the positive charge but it can rearrange uh, right that's what i'm going to say that is the importance of this question over here we are going to produce a R plus carbocation. Always we have to go through GUC when we are learned. Always we have to go through stable intermediates. So whatever carbocation we are got, it is primary carbocation. So we have to do with shift hydride shift. So this hydrogen can be shifted. Correct or not? So on shifting that we'll get CS3C and here CS3 and here CS2 plus will become CS3 and this carbon will get a positive charge. Now it is attaching on the benzene ring as C. CS3, CS3, CS3. Understood or not? Yes. Right? So now listen, one more question over here. So listen, if it was like this way, uh, CS3, C, CS3, CS3, and CS2, CL. What will happen? So here positive charge will form over here, negative charge will form over here in presence of Lewis acid. Now listen, this carbon does not have any hydride or hydrogen atom. To move as hydride shift so if there is no hydride it's hydrogen atom to shift as h minus ion methyl shift can happen because it was a primary carbocation now let me get the carbocation after moving one methyl group okay so cs3 c cs3 one methyl group is gone now this carbon got a positive charge now this cs2 is having cs3 check which degree carbocation is this this is a 3 degree carbocation so that the methyl shift also can happen 
because we are getting a more stable carbo cation now this will attack if the rearrangement was not happening it will be completely mistake you are going to get a species something like this as cs2 c cs3 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 but see the right answer will be like this way c over here cs3 cs3 cs2 cs3 see the difference over here to this molecule correct or not so this you have to see it properly understood or not yes sir okay this question is very important now for acylation also i'll give you this kind of a tricky question this an acylation is actually we have to talk about acyl group acylation this is what acyl group is r c double bond this is what acyl group this can be attached to mother group this is r c double bond is called as acyl group acyl a c y l acyl group now listen so i have given the general reaction what is actually going to happen over here same way r c double bond or some chlorine is there so al cl3 is there same way what is going to happen carbon electron negativity so it will push the electron over here so that it will form al cl4 minus charge with the r c double bond of positive charge right this will be our electrophile attaching on the benzene ring c double bond of r right if it was a cs3 c double bond of cl so we are going to get a species with a c double bond of cs3 correct or not now listen if it was like this way acylation if the reagent they are given like this way listen properly listen me3 means cs3 thrice okay me c co cl and we are given with the alc can you try this question once can you try this this one of the important previous question me thrice c co cl yes sir you can just try then i will show you the answer me3 means cs3 thrice okay cs3 thrice c co cl sir so actually i can't see the screen there was yes. some problem with my my network so could you again the, repeat the question me, meeting is recorded you can see it later as well i don't know how from where you have missed no no i missed from the question like it has been 5 minutes only uh, this question only we are discussing acylation okay. previous slide i will show you for you acylation we are discussing acylation is formation of acyl carbocation acyl carbocation is r c double bond with the carbon positive charge and this will be attaching over the benzene that's what acylation so if it was cs3 co cl carbon producing c plus and this will be attaching on the benzene this is what we are discussing the previous slide and i have given one previous year one important question over here this is the same species okay me thrice means cs3 thrice so once it's doing doing, doing. sure sure yes so what was the answer did you got this answer like this way this is two minutes okay there is methyl shift done in this problem methyl shift let's see yes. whether shift will happen or not so because carbocation shift will be anyone got this product CO, C, CS3, CS3, CS3. It's kind of uh, acylation, right? So anyone got this product by removal of Cl, carbon will get a positive charge. Hmm? Anyone got this product? Sir, I got this initially, but I thought it's wrong and there'll be some shifting. <laughs> uh, this is not right. That's why the question is important. It's not a direct question, is it? i will show in the next slide this is like cs3 c double bond oh, oh thrice sorry cs3 c cs3 cs3 and here c double bond oh, and cl will remove and we have will get a positive charge what will happen over here 
listen we got a c double bond of positive charge but if in case if i'm moving positive charge with this carbon if i'm getting some positive charge on this carbon is a tertiary carbocation which is one of the stable carbocation in organic chemistry due to the nine alpha hydrogen present or hyper conjugation you heard about that right so nine alpha hydrogens are there so we'll try to get positive charge over it how we are going to get that i will show you cs3 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 so this is c double bond o with a positive charge right so what will happen over here listen positive charge will be removed as listen this electron will be given to the this carbon so it will remove as co carbon monoxide will be removed and this will be producing cs3 c cs3 and cs this is what cs3 okay cs3 this is also cs3 this is all cs3 and here we'll get a positive which is more stable than this carbocation now this will attack on the benzene ring did you understand tertiary carbocation that's why it's a tricky question we'll get a product something like this way c with sir but why are we removing co but like can we do methyl shift and then put the carbocation on the tertiary which methyl shift methyl shift means this so the below uh, yeah suppose we take that methyl we shift it towards still, the uh, uh, yes yes we so shift we'll it towards the carbon like ion there, right c c c s3 then c double bond o c s3 you are saying right yeah 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 so yeah. this is the tertiary carbon again check the alpha yes, hydrogen yeah. 3 3 6 yes this alpha hydrogen right we are getting nine alpha hydrogen here then why to go for that right we are more stable uh, yeah yeah for sure so we don't need to go for methyl shift see methyl shift all this hydride shift will happen only these are very slow processes so generally it will happen if i am getting some extra stability otherwise it won't happen so we are getting six alpha hydrogen as i you suggested but i am getting a uh, nine alpha hydrogen which is way more stable than six alpha hydrogens so that's why it is going to not going to happen whatever you were suggested understood or not yes sir understood okay now listen the question majorly will come from one electrophilic substitution another is this one ortho para and meta directing groups you have heard about this one right ortho para meta directing groups so here ortho para directing this like see plus some group have you heard about plus some and minus some groups yes sir. plus some so i'll take one example oh and no2 no2 let me draw it this way so listen this oh is actually plus m and minus m mesomeric effect sorry minus m mesomeric effect is actually for the groups not for the benzene ring so plus m means i will tell you how this plus m came mesomeric effect means so a group which can provide is already electron denser benzene ring so whenever electrophile will be coming it will be attracted towards the benzene ring that is for sure now see if there are some group which is already having lone pair can give electrons through conjugation not through like that inductive effect plus i it's not plus i it can give electrons to our system through conjugation right so if we have lone pair we can give electrons to the benzene ring from the oxygen through conjugation we'll get resonance for this or phenol so resonating structure you have already learned so i don't want to draw that so double bond oh will form so it will resonate correct or not now listen plus m came how listen that's why i have drawn over here so this is what me plus electron releasing group right now see how this plus came means this what the group is actually I told you this mesomeric effect is actually relating with the groups so listen whatever groups over here oh group after giving or providing electron density towards our system where our electrophilic substitution reaction is going to happen this oxygen is going to get or the group is going to get a positive charge that's what this plus sign, plus sign represents now listen it's actually called as the plus sign groups are actually called as activating groups why it is activating means already elect benzene is electron denser now we are actually pushing again more electron density towards our benzene meaning to say that the attraction of electrophile towards the benzene will be increased again why because already electron density is there we are actually pushing again electron density more towards the benzene meaning to say that electrophile will be attracted at a higher pace 
So that's why we are actually activating benzene ring towards our electrophilic substitution reaction to a group. And this group is called as activating group or plus sum group. Do you understand or not? And listen, if you remember the resonating structures, so negative charge will resonate and will produce negative charge over here, right or not? So this will be double bond yes. here, double bond here, double bond OH plus, and here negative charge. And the same way we are going to get negative charge over here. I hope you remember the resonating system. You are going to get negative charges on the ortho para meta position. So let me draw ortho para meta positions with respect to OH group. So with respect to one group only, we are going to do ortho and para meta positions. So this is ortho position. This is ortho position with respect to OH group ortho. And this is meta. This is meta and this is para position. So as I have seen in the resonating structure, you are going to get negative charge set a ortho, ortho, this ortho, this ortho and para position. Meta we are not getting anything. So when electrophiles are coming, it will try to attract it towards ortho, this ortho or this para. It won't be attracted towards meta positions. Clear or not? So that's why it's called as ortho yes. para diode. Same like OH, if you have some lone phase, that's why plus M group can be distinguished by presence of lone phase. So it can be OH or it can be NH2, it can be NH and a long pair, right? It can be OCS3, methoxy group, long pair, or it can be OCOCS3 as well. OCOCS3. Here also I, I will give you one important question. I don't know whether we'll get time. I just extend for 10 or 15 minutes so that we can do it. One important question over here. And can I have NH COOCS3? Here also, this is attached to the benzene ring, okay? Nitrogen will be having lone pair, oxygen is having two lone pairs, right? So plus some group will be distinguished by or detected by presence of lone pairs. And they are activating benzene ring towards electrophilic substitution reaction. They are ortho para directing because electrophiles coming means electron density will be more produced over ortho and para and electrophile will be attracted towards more towards ortho and para positions. Now, when we talk about NO2 kind of group, so NO2, N double bond O, coordinate bond o. minus m i'll tell you why it is minus m so mi minus m groups are like groups which can take out electron from the system through its conjugation so what will happen over here this can see electron density can be taken out away from the system through its conjugation of the group so it will produce something like this way resonance so here positive charge will be formed right so double bond double bond here nitrogen coordinate bond o and here you see double bond will be formed and here O minus, correct or not? And nitrogen actually losing its electron. So nitrogen is forming four bonds. So nitrogen will get a positive charge as well, correct or not? So listen, negative charge will be formed over here, positive charge. Listen, what about NO2 group? After taking electron, the, our system is getting some negative charge. That's what our this minus M represents. Same like OH plus we got. Right or not? And see, listen, we'll get a positive charge over here. According to NO2, this is ortho, this is meta, this is para, this is ortho, this is meta. Right? While drawing resonating such solution, this will be resonating like this way. And here, double bond will be forming here, double bond here, and positive charge here. And here, double bond N, O minus, and a double bond O. Correct or not? Now, listen, again shift. So this is one, something like this way, double bond here, double bond here, and positive charge here, and N, O minus, and a double bond to, correct or not? Now, what is going to happen after this? N, O plus, so positive charge is formed over here, positive charge, oh, sorry, we have double bond here, right? Now, listen, so this will shift like this way, and this double bond will be coming over here to produce a structure like this way, double bond here, double bond, double bond, and here n o2 coordinate bond o right right now listen i have drawn the resonance section meaning to explain like see according to no2 this is ortho right and here this is para i'm drawing where positive charge is formed this is para this ortho and according to no2 as per no2 this is ortho okay so we are getting ortho para with the positive charge right 
so positive charge when we draw no2 no2 we are getting ortho and para positive charges now if an electrophile coming to which position it will be attracted for sure it won't go for ortho and meta. Uh, it will go for meta there is no more electron density there is no negative charge creation but comparing to the ortho meta position have little more electron density that's why it is minus m group for sure how minus m came i explained and this is meta directing meta directing and even we'll call it as deactivating ring deactivating group towards reacting group for benzene ring towards the electrophilic substitution reaction because it is actually taking electron density away from benzene so if you are taking away electrophile attack on the benzene will be reduced why because electron density we need for electrophile to attract towards the benzene ring that's why it's called as deactivating group of benzene ring towards the electrophilic substitution reactions so how we can uh, detect minus m group with their saturation so unsaturation how saturation unsaturation double bonds so something like no2 n double bond is there or even something like c double bond group is there something like that cscs3 or even cho this aldehyde or even carboxylic acid these are attached to benzene ring okay ph if there is a unsaturation which is in conjugation with the benzene ring right like this way if i am writing cho double bond double bond double bond here c double bond of h smc this double bond and this double bond is in conjugation so if there's an unsaturation and in conjugation then only it can take the electron right minus m means it has to take electron through conjugation only understood or not that's the reason why it is minus m meta directing deactivating group and how to uh, detect due to the presence of unsaturation understood or not yes sir okay so let's do few questions then we can so i don't want to extend for a long time let me do some question based on the concept we have explained i don't want to uh, do the question maybe in the next class let's do it today only so first question you can just note down this question you have to try i will explain the answer just little writing uh, or giving the time for you after five minutes so question number one uh, a we are getting some no2 a b is no2 with the here br so you have to write the reagents for a and b try this one in your notebook please mm, second one a we'll get b then c and final product i'm going to reveal right final product is bromine with the no2 over here this also you can try tell me if you're done with the slide i'll give you at least five to six questions then we can talk tell me at least you write the question then let me know so one second okay just write the question then i will give you the time to an answer it a b c how to find out done done writing sir is this a pyq sir sorry is this a pyq which one no no this is not previous year Okay. One I have given for that ME three COC that was a pre vacuum. I'll give you the pre vacuum. Three question direct question I will give you. Three question one pre previous year question I will give you. This is done. Yes. Okay. This is done. One more question I'll give you randomly. Mm. A. Let me write it as B, then C, 
A and C are reagent, B is one uh, product actually. And here we are getting NO2 with a CS3. This you try. Three questions I will give you, some previous question. Little, not that easy, but it's not that difficult as well. Listen, you can write the question number three. Question number four means electrophile will attack it or A, A, B, C, D. You have to keep pick up one position, A, B, C, D. Question number five also is kind of that question. Here also A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Last one for today's class, then we can stop. That I can write in the next slide. A, B, C, D. Tell me if you're done with this slide, OK? A, B, C, D. Here also electrophilic substitution at what position? So one second. Yeah, sure. So sure. let me know if you're finished with the question. Done. Done. Others? Last one. Question number six or five? Five. Five. Six. So you have to predict the rate. Rate of electrophilic substitution. So this also one previous year question. Um, first structure is given like this way. Oxygen. That is oxygen. Okay. This is carbon, the double bond though. Third one is benzene with the double bond though, oxygen. Yes. Rate of electrophilic substitution A, B, C. So we have to do electrophilic substitution on the benzene ring, OK? On the benzene ring. The last three structures are given. Last three questions are very important questions. Previous year questions. Tell me if you're done with this slide so I can go back to the first question. I'll give you two or three minutes to try each and every question. These are the applications for whatever we have discussed today for the concept. This is C double bond, OK? This is oxygen. Tell me if you're done with the slide, OK? So once again, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. No problem. So done with this slide. OK. So let me check the first question. Oh. Now you can try the first question. I won't give you too much time. You have to identify A and B reagents. There will be a specific time. Then I will announce the answer. So is there any like uh, specific um, 
reason why it is going on the br is in different place than from first and second that's, that's why the reagent here to identify right that's why the question is important okay this is benzene okay it's not cyclohexane yes done first one is nitration nitration mixture is concentrated hno3 plus concentrated h2so4 so nitration yes, will yeah. happen over here next reaction is bromine we have to uh, add over in the benzene ring substitute over benzene ring but due to the no2 it's a minus m group it will the meta directing group that's why it is came on the meta position right bromine is br2 with the lewis acid fp br3 something like that you can write so it's a meta directing so br will yes, come sir. in the meta position correct or not yes yes sir. start trying question number 2 Sir, is it over here? Is it first Br two and FeBr three, FeCl three? Is a uh, bromination first over here in E? That is the question. You have to check whether bromination or nitration is the first one. That is the question over here. Okay. Sir. Yes. Now listen. I'm allowing a specific time only. Listen. So I will do both. Br and nitration we have to give. So if I'm doing, let me take bromination first. I'm doing bromination first. Br2, Fe, Br3. Huh? So bromine will be added. I am drawing Br over here. Now this is our A and B. Now listen, we are going to do nitration with the NO2 plus. Bromine, we have to see whether it is a plus M or minus M. Bromine is having lone pairs, right? So it is a plus M yes. group. It is an ortho para directing group. So why it is came on para means it is actually due to the due to the steric hindrance. So ortho also it will come. Problem is ortho when it is coming due to NO2 Br, steric hindrance will come. So major product will be our bromine with the para position and Minor product, if they are asking, it's not predicting the answer. They are already given the answer. So this is major and ortho product will be the minor product. So this is the answer for this. Now listen, if I'm doing nitration first, NO2 plus is we are doing first. Now NO2 will be added or at, at here I'm adding, okay, NO2. Now after that, we are doing bromination. What will happen? NO2 is a meta directing group. So where BR will come? NO2 here already is there. Bromine will come over here or here. I'm just drawing randomly here. Is this our product we need? No. No, sir. So this is wrong. We have to do bromination first for sure to get this product. Understood or not? Understood. This application of plus M and minus sir. I hope other students are also getting the point. Next one. Next we can look at a question number three. Yes, sir. Ah, thank you. Sir, so first number... one, it will be um... This is kind of same NO2, NO2 plus and then uh, why NO2 plus because NO2 so because when NO2 plus, plus comes then uh, we say meta position no, here, here. here NO2 will come now this is which reaction what is the reagent for C reagent C what is C you tell me what is C hmm? Sir, uh, CH3 and, and uh, halogen. Uh, that is FC alkylation reaction, right? CH3, some CL yes. or some halogen with the Lewis acid. So CH3 plus will be produced and it will be going to the meta position of NO2. That's where it came. Now, if I'm doing the ultra, what will happen? First, I'm doing CH3 plus, CH3 CL, okay? So somewhere I'll mark it as CH3 here. Now, after that, I'm doing NO2 plus. CH3, again, CS3 problem is that CS is plus IN plus HC. Plus HC means, listen, here if I'm drawing double bond, double bond, double bond, here CS3 is there, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. 
here hyper conjugation also another option hyper conjugation is there hyper conjugation means this can be attracted so it will be giving the electron over here hyper conjugation is there so it can give electron sigma pi electron so over here plus i is also there plus i so this position compared to this electron releasing so electron will be it's actually distance dependent right inductive effect so electron density will be give, given to this position more and when we move to a little more distance electron density will be provided from the csa will be less and here it will be less correct or not now electrophil will come will come over here no2 plus and the next minor product will be this no2 meta and the least product will be least amount product will be para product so this is actually a kind of exception question actually important question as well but this i have to remember cs3 minus is plus i effect so no2 with the ortho will be major because distant dependent effect is the inductive effect so electron density is pushing towards the benzene ring. So here this position is less, more closer towards the CSC. So here electron density will be even more. So NO2 will be attracted over there more. Then meta, then para. It is para is more distance from the CS3. It's not about ortho, peta, uh, meta, para directly. Did you understand that CS3 wala? Yes, sir. Okay. Leave that for the time being. We don't we are not getting time for that. Leave it. For this one, can you tell me A, B, C, D? A, B, C, D. So let me finish it up. I'll just explain because I don't want so to. Is it any? Is it A? It's not A. Why? Because. Listen, this NH is a plus sum group. Correct or not? Lone pair is there. Oh, what about right. C double bond? C double bond is minus sum group. Answer yes. Yeah, Correct or not? Now, listen, plus sum group can give electron density for ortho and their para positions correct or not now yes what about minus m it will give electron density meta meta position but it's not giving electron density right it is giving plus charge on para and ortho that's why you are saying meta will be a little more electron density but what about plus m you are giving some negative charge on ortho and para correct or not Right yes, now, sir. electrophile will be attracted more towards this position was not given. Otherwise, we have to see. So B position will be the preferred position for electrophile to attack. Did you understand this question? Question number four. Everyone. Yes, sir. Others. Okay. Question number five. You try. In the yes, same sir. Way? Okay. Thank you. Question number five. The same way you try, and you tell me the answer. Question number five. So C, it will be C for sure. Why it is C? Here we have oxygen with lone pair, so it will be plus M group. So it will be giving electron density at ortho and a para position, not meta. So for sure, ortho it's not given any option. So it will be C always. It is ortho para directing. So para position is given is one of the answer. So option C, not option C, position C. Correct or not? Yes yes so last one last question for today's class rate of like this you try i'll give you two minutes try this the same application plus m minus m that's it It's kind of a little more important and good question. Anyone got? I think Kriya the right. Yeah. Anyone got the answer? No. Sir, I'm still okay. trying. Okay, yeah. Rate of electrophilic substitution, okay.
where a profile can attack at a faster pace. Yes, let me explain. We don't have too much time today. So listen, this auction will have a lone pair, right or not? So it's actually activating group. Electron density is given to the benzene ring. Here also oxygen has lone pair. Here also electron activating. So here is double bond is there like this way. I'll draw it like this way. So it can have conjugation with the double bond like this way, right or not? It's electron giving. So here the problem will be in the B. Electron one lone pair will be donated like this way. The problem with this will be the lone pair actually in conjugation with the, this C double bond o as well. So this electron has to release to the benzene ring as well as oxygen has to give electron to the other part as well. Right? What about the last one? Here there is no need to check. It is C double bond o. C double bond o sat unsaturation means it is a minus M group. Right? So it will be taking electron density away from this. So it is deactivating. So rate will be very less. Who is joining now? I don't know. So it is going to deactivate the benzene. So rate will be less for C. That is for sure. Correct or not? Now we have comparison between A and B. So as I told you, here only electron released towards the benzene ring. So electron density will be always released towards the benzene ring. But over here, electron density is removed, re released toward the benzene ring. Apart from that, there will be some kind of electron density released toward the right side as well. So it's called as double resonance, double resonance. So electron density will be effectively given to the benzene ring on this molecule. So A is having higher rate. I don't know why he's joining. A is having higher rate, then B, then C. Did you understand this question? Sir, sorry, sir. I left the meeting by mistake. Could you repeat? I just who joined. That? Who is that? Sir, Ishan. I, I tried joining from another website. Uh, okay. User. So listen. So over here, see, first question. First question, I told you. Let me erase all this then. So over here, listen, first question you can see. I explained the question completely. That's why right. it's fine. Sorry, so sir. Listen. Left it's fine. It's fine. You can listen, listen. So in the first question, you can see first A part, first example. This oxygen can be given its electron towards the benzene ring. Correct or not? With the lone pair. So it is electron releasing plus M group. Plus M. So here also electron is getting released towards the benzene like this way. With the oxygen, this is also plus M. But problem with not the problem. So oxygen will re has to release electron towards this C double bond as well. This is actually a resonance. This lone pair is also resonance with the C double bond. O. So it's actually called as double resonance. Double resonance. So here no need to check in the C molecule because it is going to take electron from the benzene ring. Because it's a conjugation, unsaturation, it is minus up. So rate will be less on C for sure because it's a uh, electron density is taken away from benzene ring. So electrophile attack will be less less preferred on this molecule which will be effective so over here electron density is always giving to the benzene ring but over here giving to electron density to the benzene ring apart from that we have to give electron density to the other side as well so more effective will be one side release to the benzene ring so a will be having higher rate compared to b and least will be c understood or not yes sir understood so just sir the meeting ishan is there that's me only sir i tried joining from another device okay so let me just check how many how many of you have joined over here uh divija is in which batch and which school can you tell me she left no, so she's in batch 3 tcis tcs batch 3 okay and what about you ishan Sir, my name is uh, yeah, Ishan. I am batch 3 TCIS. Okay. Thanks for joining. I hope you got some info from today's class. So, yes, sir. Benzene is actually not completed 
we can say it's not finished completely so we can do for few more questions i have just gone through some important concept that's it we have not yet finished you have to go for a little more question that is then only can finish so let's do the alkene or alkene maybe in the next class as well so alkene if i am doing it won't finish i cannot rest and go for it so the class actually aim for this class is to understand basic about one topic that's why i taken only one topic for today so let's stop over here so if i'm taking the next class i'll just give you a few more questions for benzene and we'll do the next topic like alkene or alkyne fine so let's stop yes, for sir, today actually, thanks yeah actually i had a few i, I missed my alkene classes sir okay. taught alkene and i was absent that time because i was out of town for two weeks okay. completely I hope to which i had to finish yeah but alkene is still pending for me because oh, no, we'll alkene is a bit part of we'll take alkene see if you have one doubt one topic doubt you can approach to any organic teacher at any point okay sir at lawrence you can come yeah. all on the right now almost syllabus is completed so we can take doubt sessions as well clear so it's it's like from your side if you are showing more interest automatically teachers will come to you clear mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hope you got some good kind of info from this class. Thank you, Thanks sir. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night, yes, sir. Good night.